Hi guys, welcome back to Retrospect. Today's video is going to be just a speed paint and 25 random facts about myself. In today's doodle, I just decided to draw out a little grid of some of my favorite objects. They don't all have to be ones that I own. For example, I do not own a crystal sword. I chose each item because I like the way they looked, because it has slight emotional significance to me, or because it's cute. So this is just going to be me coloring them in. I'm using gouache paint, and then later on I'll be inking them with a darker color. But in the meantime, let me tell you 25 things about myself. So the first thing is, I love tea. I'm not a coffee drinker, and I don't really drink juice or milk or anything. So mainly I drink tea and water and uh, <laughs> red wine. Tea is my favorite. Number two, Harry Potter is one of my favorite book series. I do prefer the books to the movies by a landslide, but I also think that, for the most part, the movies were really well cast. Except for Dumbledore is like so hard to get right. I have some issues. I have a few issues with the movie, but the books are amazing. And I have reread and listened to the audiobooks so many times, and it's I'm just gonna keep doing it. So the next fact is avocados give me mad uncomfortable stomach problems. I can't eat them. They look like they might be good. I've tried guacamole, it seems tasty, and then bad things happen. Fact number four, I am Canadian! Yay! I know I'm not going to apologize for that, but I'm not particularly patriotic either, so eh? Hey. I was born in Canada, born in Ontario, and I moved to San Francisco almost two years ago for work, which is fact number five. Number six, I have one sibling, and he is a brother, and he is younger than me. My favorite Disney movie is Aladdin, because I love the songs in it, and Robin Williams is hilarious. But I also really like Hercules, Robin Hood, and The Sword in the Stone. While we're on the subject of childhood, I never grew up with a Nintendo. No Super Nintendo, NES, none of that. We had a used Sega Genesis that my uncle gave us, and I played so much Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic 2, and this really difficult Batman Returns game that was like impossible. So yeah, I mean, Sonic's pretty cool, but I do feel like I lacked in the Mario department. But my brother and I did save up for uh, Game Boy Colors when we were younger. We had, um, we had a garage sale, we sold a bunch of our old toys, made a total of $26, and I think my grandpa took pity on us and helped us pay for our own Game Boys. But nonetheless, Pokemon Blue was the first game I played, and it still Still makes me so happy. And while we're on the subject of video games, my probably my favorite video game is Final Fantasy VIII. A lot of people love seven, but I don't know, the first game I ever played in that series was eight. I thought it was really cool how they kind of swore and it was like older people, so it was a more, more mature game than like Spyro or whatever that I was used to playing. Final Fantasy VIII is great, and I would play it again if I had my PlayStation here. But right now what I play is mostly Steam, and I am I'm addicted to this damn Binding of Isaac. I've spent so much time playing this game. This game and the, the new expansion one, the Afterbirth. If you know what I'm talking about, you know it's addictive. And if you don't, just save yourself the trouble. Don't, don't look into it. Your life will disappear. I've spent over a thousand hours playing this game. That being said, it is very fun. Next fact is, I have a little doggy. She is an Italian Greyhound. She's just over a year and a half, and her name is Pico, after my favorite kind of tea, Orange Pico. The next fact is about my schooling. I actually did a Bachelor of Fine Arts back in Canada, 
that whether or not I think that was a good idea is a whole other can of worms. But then after that I did a small graphic design program in Canada as well. So artist and designer by schooling. I really dislike caterpillars. I think they're creepy. I don't like their squirmy worminess. I don't like slugs or snails either, but caterpillars can be so gross. Being Canadian, I also was taught French from a young age in school, so I am, I'm not fluent. Like if you plunked a pack of French people in front of me, we could, we could make ends meet, but we couldn't have enjoyable, stimulating dinner conversation. At least not yet. I'm pretty rusty. It's kind of like you need to maintain it. Next factoid is I need glasses. My eyesight is not so great. I recently got contact lenses and that has been one of the best things because they don't hurt your nose and they don't take up all this room on your face and they don't get wet when you get rained on. Unless you're really weird. So contacts have been great. I would love to just be able to see perfectly but hey Maybe laser eye surgery one day. Next factoid, I love me some strawberries. It's, they're just like the best fruit. And if someone is trying to be diet conscious or carbohydrate conscious, they're not so bad for that. And they're high in fiber. Ding! One of my other favorite things growing up and still to this day is Lego. I do like to paint Lego and I want to paint more Legos, and so you'll see a few little Lego pieces in this painting. My favorite color is turquoise. My favorite number is seven. And I like to use blankets a lot. When I'm hanging out at home, I'm never without a blanket wrapped around myself in my chair, even if it's like the hottest day. <laughs> For some reason, I'll still be sweating there with a blanket wrapped around me. It's just like comfort thing? I don't know. I'm a big family person as well. I really like spending time with my family. I miss them. So living abroad, abroad, I guess the United States is considered abroad. Living abroad is difficult for me because I don't get to spend as much time with my family as I would like. I always knew I wanted to be an artist. I mean, there was a brief stint in high school or somewhere around there where I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be an orthodontist. Why would I wanna be that? I don't know, but yeah, for the most part, always wanted to be an artist. Controversial fact about me, I think the movie Frozen is overrated. I actually think Brave is so much, so much the better movie. It was funny, the characters were likable, the plot was interesting, there was a bit of magic, which I guess you could say all of those things about Frozen, but Frozen just didn't do it for me. And the last little fact is polka dots. I like polka dots, I like florals. So pretty much if you look in my wardrobe, it's either black, turquoise, got polka dots, or florals on it. And yeah, that about wraps up the 25 facts about me. I obviously had to speed up this painting because I think the whole process took me maybe an hour to do, you know, in between wetting the brush, dipping it in the paint, spreading it, waiting for sp spots to dry, changing colors and whatnot. I do like watching people color stuff in. It's very soothing, so I hope you guys like this video. And if you did, please give me one of those good old thumbs up. If you want to see more of this stuff, definitely subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!